What's up YouTube, cod 4 man 221 here, and welcome to another part of the campaign for the German Reich and Hearts Iron 4. In the last part, we made a bold move of taking over the Netherlands in 1936, which has given us, look at this, 700 rubber. Totally worth it. Completely worth it. So, and we also now have our Dutch puppet, who's just going to sit over here in, in uh, West Pampa, and maybe they'll make some troops, hopefully. They have three divisions. I just want them to try to defend this against Australia if they, we do go to war with them. I'm also shipping some troops over here. They're, uh, I'm going to go all the way around, and they will actually help out uh, defend that province. I can also take this uh, Singapore from the British. We're not going to be fighting the Japanese. We're not going to be fighting for the Japanese either. I think our next option... So we have our West Wall, right? We have some defenses set up here. There's three out of... Not even, yeah, we have 3 out of 10, so it's like a mini Maginot, right? It's kind of defending our, our territory. We are definitely not attacking the French till like, I take over Austria and Czechoslovakia and get Hungary in the Axis. Something like that. Okay, so we have our forces here. So I think it's time to cut off the ports. So I want to get behind enemy lines and kind of, kind of create a pocket if we can. I just want to deny, I know there's, I'm surprised actually I haven't seen any Soviet troops here. There we go, I'll do that. Let me double check to see if Soviet troops have been sent here. Yeah, there's Soviet volunteers. <laughs> you're going to see my troops like, hey, no, don't mind us, you know, I know you're fighting a war over here. We're just sailing over here. Has anyone else sent volunteers to you? The Italians. Now, where are the Italians? Ah, there they are. They're attacking in the mountains. And so are we. Apparently, our, our tactic has been countered. One thing we need to do, we also have another commander we can get. We have our theorist, we'll get the nuclear scientist. Anti-submarine. Oh, I like to add infantry. That would be great. Erwin Rommel. He'll be one of our guys. We're we'll definitely picking him up for our armor. The Germans have some great commanders. They really do. They didn't purge them like the Soviets did. That's for sure. <laughs> okay, I need more tungsten. Can I... The most trade influence was Spain. They have a little bit I could take. I only need two, so I'll take them from Spain. They should love me for uh, winning the war here for them. Let's look at our research. Wow, <laughs> isn't that amazing? Everything's done in approximately one day. I could not have planned that better if I tried. Okay, let's get the reinforcement rate. This is very important. We'll get that done. I want to start a land doctrine for the... This is kind of our blitzkrieg here. Let's get extra organization. Why not? Okay, what else? We have field hospitals. We need to add that to our units. Anything else we can do a little bit? It's 1936. This is half off. 86 days. Uh, let's just research down here. Deploy units. What does this even mean? We have... Yeah, these units will... Okay. Whoops. Okay. There you go. So they weren't... They were just waiting. They had no deployment location. Okay, we're good. I don't know why I keep saying that. Okay, let's get army innovations. We don't want to do the anti common turn pack. Not yet. My question is, will I... I'll probably split it historically with the USSR Poland. Seems like a good idea to me. War economy seems like a great thing. Now with our construction, because we were previously on partial mobilization, which helps us with construction speed and conversion costs, but this is, this is what I think is the best one, war economy. It gives you 20% to construction speed, makes conversion costs faster. I was seeing on... Uh, they were doing a stream... Paradox was, it was Jake and, and Daniel, and they're playing as USSR, and they want a total mobilization. As the USSR 
it doesn't matter as much, but you never want to get less recruitable population. If I did this currently, and I have 2.5%, I would have no manpower. It is not worth this. The next their 10% is not worth that, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think, though. I'm very interested to see what you guys think about that also. So we're out of the mountains. The forest is much better, considering they can't hit our armor. So we have guns. We have a lot more factories. Still need some more on our attack bombers. Now, tanks aren't as good in the city. I like a tactic attack. Tactic defend. <laughs> like, there's no, uh, nothing here. Yeah, terrain. So, s urban does hurt the uh, enemy air support here. And it also hurts the combat. Or makes you move slower, I guess. They finally cleaned up this pocket up here. Okay, let's go over here. So we have our units that are garrisoning these islands. Look, the British have units over here in Borneo. Oh, Britain, I will cut off all your rubber supplies, my friend. I use the word friend very, very loosely. And this part I said that I would get the Kriegsmarine over here. Okay, let's break off the subs. Okay, this is our real Kriegsmarine. Let's give us a good admiral. I like the I like the superior tactician. This is great for fleet positioning. What else do we have? Blockade runner. Donuts will be our submarine commander. Okay, let's look at our Yeah, it always does. They start you off with just a certain number of these things will be built. I actually want to make a battleship. Okay, you're going to the Kriegsmarine. So are you. You guys are my... You're my subs. I'll give you Donets. Oh, we won. So, Nashville, Spain won. Which is great, and I'm sure these guys appreciate it, right? Okay, good, they do. I sent the volunteers. That should be a little more than that, because it helped you win the war. Okay, sir, we're going to change your new home base, I think. At some point. Can my ships... Oh, they can't even get over here. No. Well, this we can go through the Suez, but... Darn, we need to capture some ports or something over there, because I can have these guys defend, right? But I can't do a naval invasion. Yeah, I can't do a naval invasion of there. Okay, I'm going to send these guys over here. I am kind of worried. The British do have a lot of units stationed over here. Okay, let's see how much rubber is here. 138. We have much more on these two islands. It might... They have the oil there, too. Might might be worth actually capturing that. So let's just send over, actually. Let's... Okay, I'm going to merge those guys. It's not that I don't want you. I want you to actually be able to push the British out of here. That's more important to me currently. Since we're training all these troops anyway. Oh, our, our panzers. Whoops. Okay, well, we have a bunch of panzer divisions we're making too. <laughs> Whoops. So. Ah, oh, this division. We're almost definitely going to lead our panzers when we go across. So we're on army innovations. This helps give us a research bonus for land doctrine. And we get the uh, some commanders. Yeah, army. I have to complete. Yeah, so see, I can get Rommel after. I love that all the. Um, I just love the fact that you get all these political powers of Germans here. So I'm gonna add the field hospital. I do want. I think that's very important. It'll help us with our. We're gonna be fighting a lot of enemies. 
And the thing with Belgium is, when you, if you don't take over the Netherlands first, the only way into Belgium is through this one province here at Wallonia. And you, or, you can take over Luxembourg, right? Which you probably will do. So these guys can't go anywhere. Even, we don't have any other ports down here. Maybe if we ally with the Italians, that might help. Maybe I can use some of their ports. You know, use this one here, this one here. They like me, so I might as well get a non-aggression pact with them. I will definitely enjoy them. The Italians, I need them. I don't need them, but, you know, it might be nice. The French are massing their army around the match now. We're still building up, but that's okay for right now. Let's, let's increase the speed here while we're... Oh, we're waiting. It's inc it's very important that I do get answers with Austria, though. Okay, it has to also be... How does that not... So we need this 550,000 men in the field here. And our army alone is almost... It's 760,000 men. So... Well, let's go to the Treaty of the USSR while we're waiting here. We already have the civilian stuff down. Now let's see the civilian unit accepts. So that would be interesting if they did not. Okay. Let's get our armor genius here, right? Okay, I'm just going to put my tanks down by the Sudan land just to try to scare the uh, the Czechs. I'm hoping the French, they'll probably do the... Uh, yeah, they're going, they're going to defense folks. They'll probably go with Britain. They don't usually... You know, Cirque didn't do the little Entente. Our little alliance, I think, that's what Entente means. See, did you have, like, triple Entente in the First World War? Honestly, more factories, the better. I was getting country industry, too. Because we... I think the big thing that's holding us up are our guns. Let's make a second gun here. Well, we need support weapons too, so. That's okay right now. These things are finishing so quickly anyway. Look, it's like one month to finish one of these factories. I do have extra factories here too, because I'm not using anything for trade right now. You know, I need chromium. I'm sure we'll seize a lot of these too. You know, one thing you can do also is I don't necessarily need naval superiority to get over here, I just need air superiority. Okay, wonderful. Those things have finished. I'll pause for a second. Okay, we're going to now do Anschluss. So let's get Austria. They can join the Reich. Okay, what else do we want to do? Construction? Yes, that will help out. And it's a little, a little ahead for this, though. Let's get uh, support weapons, too. I've got the other one. Okay. Oh, good. So it's want that treaty, so this will be a stepping stone. So we get uh, reduced ahead of time for the Panzerkampfwagen uh, 3. And the Soviets get armor technology. Okay. Cool. Let's do industrial. Let's see what do we... I see the, uh, the Compt, the uh, industrial group. That'll make all our industrial stuff go faster. Let's take a look at this research now. It's for our tank here. So this just gives us, yeah, so we don't even have anything ahead of time that could hurt us. We're not going to be, probably going to try to get the Panzer, f oh my goodness, we get the Tiger, 600 days. Yeah, I'll probably just make a bunch of Panzer IVs, to be honest, and then just use those for a while. Until we get the modern tank, which is the E-50. I feel like I need more soldiers, though. I do not feel like we're prepared enough right now. It's 1937. I, I mean, we have a lot. We don't need probably 49 divisions to take out the Belgians. So this is going to be like our main thrust here. 
And this guy can actually, we'll just make him the, uh, this is the German Far East. So here's what we did. We did win the war in Spain. So Spain is now very friendly with us. They won't take a non-aggression path. They need to get rid of this base reduction. Uh, reluctance. Base reduction. Base reluctance. They need to get rid of that because it's... It should be minus 20 just automatically. They will probably join a faction. They just have to... It's going to take them a while because they're going to be recovering from the Civil War. Which lasts until 1942. Okay, I think my new divisions... I'm just going to have them deploy right here at Württemberg. Mainly because I want to have another line here along the Maginot in case the French try to push in. I really wish these ships could actually travel anywhere. Like, they can only get down here. Another thing I won't be doing is I will not be attacking Denmark. See, I'm more focused on... We're doing the answers right now. I'm more focused on France than Poland. National defense. Well, then again, I could always just have these units just smash Poland and then we go after France. I thought I told you guys you didn't need to deploy with him. There you go. You don't need to. You don't need to deploy. You just need to be right here. There you go, your orders are going to be along here. With our two divisions. And I'll have these guys actually start deploying along here too. There we go. I'll change these army colors by the way also. So let's get Von Paulus here. You can, you can hold that. Rommel's here still. Let's get on this. Let's speed it up again. Yeah, we are a little slow. I mean, the campaign starts a little slow as Germany. I mean, I already did take over a country, so it's not that slow. It's also 1937. 300 days. It's so long, but we gotta do it. I wanna have the encryption over my enemies. Do we have the extra research slot? It's down here. So we could do an army air innovations too, and that will. We could do the Motov ribbon pack too. I need a lot more soldiers on the field though. Okay, what else do I wanna build? So these extend. These extend the range of your fleet. I don't think we need that necessarily. Synthetic oil. I'm not saying we have plenty of oil, but I don't know if it's worth building at this early. We don't need the rubber, that's for sure. I'll build a bunch of these over here, and then we'll also. Also get a ton of stuff too from these guys. Look at the Belgians, they're all suffering attrition. It's probably because they're training. You can see they're doing jumping jacks. So Amelia Earhart has disappeared. Sorry, it's China. What are they what's going on over here? <laughs> Chinese border incident. Yeah, Japan, you're about to uh to do the uh, the Marco Polo Bridge incident. Now, I've actually seen the Chinese only one time, it was in someone else's LP, that actually gave Beijing up this province here. And then the Japanese still attacked them. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of guns. Wonderful construction is now done. This is just repair time. Excavation seems like a good idea too. Okay. Repeated uprising in Austria clearly show the people there no longer. They are no long. Austria clearly to show that peop, the people there, no, they're long to be united with our Reich. It is now time to take action and allow the will of the people to be manifest. How can anyone say that Austria is not German? Okay, welcome to the Reich. Leadership person, I don't know why I couldn't see that sentence there. Sometimes you're just like, wait a second, what the hell am I saying? Okay, research Eastern claims. I don't know if we want that yet. Let's demand Slovenia. Let's see what this do. World tension will go up a little bit. 
Sudetenland first. Let's go to Sudetenland, then we'll take over all of Austria. Okay, we're still waiting on research here. Let's get the better guns. Okay, we can get someone else here. Logistics? That would be great for him to Russia. I mean, the regrouping is good, but you can't beat the attrition right there. Let's take a look at the U.S. here. We've been, since the game started, basically, yeah, 31%. They may actually win the 1940 election. And they really hate me because I generate world tension. Oh, good. We have about seven units now on the front line here. Oh, we have all the Austrian units now, too. Okay, let's put these guys in an army here. And I want the Mountaineers. Let's just go right here. I'll have these guys join. And this guy's army can join up also. I'm looking forward to taking over the Czech troops also. Okay, more free factories. Excellent. Can build some in Austria now, too. These are actually probably some of the safer provinces than around here. Like, I'm sure these are going to get bombarded. I should prop. I don't really see anti-air doing a whole lot, though, when I placed it down, too. Okay, well, we might as well get some more fighters. It's a BF... We should actually double check our fighters too. Look at our research once delay is done. Okay, political advisors. Who do you want to do? Trade deals. This guy will be good. So we'll get him next. And then we probably want to do the material designer for probably infantry equipment. Because there's a lot more infantry equipment than motorized. I think the Germans are actually one the only nation that starts out with motorized already. What's kind of weird is that motorized is actually used in other things too. It's it's used in support equipment. So yeah, we need to be making more s support equipment than that. Yeah, increase our cap here, which we'll which we're gonna be working on too shortly. I mean, Germany they have to build up, guys. Like, you can't just leave Germany. Like, you, you know, we started in kind of a bad state. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this part. I'll see you guys in the next one where we continue to get closer towards World War II. We're doing the Sudan land right now. We're describing a lot of territory while we can. I'll see you guys then. Government 221 signing off.